Good morning, Ms. Murray's class. Um, welcome, welcome to class today. Today, we're gonna continue learning the, the, the concepts from last week, except this week is gonna go a little deeper um, and, and, and more involved. You're gonna see a lot more uh, stories, word problems, so that you start to uh, practice the skills that you learned last week. So for now, go ahead and um, pull up your Go Math ten, the, the lesson 10.1. That should be problem, uh, page 375. 375. And if I'm not mistaken, this is volume one, okay? Should be volume one. I'll double check for you though. For now, start opening volume one. Yeah, you're you're in volume one, so go ahead and pull that one. Again, it's page three seventy five, página trescientos setenta y cinco. Es el volumen uno, el 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 libro de Gomez volumen uno. guys a quick minute to get your materials ready if you already have it please make sure that you have a, a pencil that is sharpened and that it's ready uh, for work today all righty let's let's begin so Today we're going to be um, we're going to be generating number patterns. Okay, we're going to be generating number patterns. Um, just um, it, which is a continuation of what you guys did last week. And we're going to begin with the story. Let's say let's see. It says Luisa is making a flan, which is some type of dessert. If you haven't had it, it's very delicious. It's one of my personal favorites. For every egg, she can make three flans. One of the ingredients to make fl a flan is an egg. And for one egg, you can make three flans. And they're giving you a rule, okay? They're giving you a rule, go ahead and underline it, please. It equals F equals three E. So anytime they give you a rule, you're just gonna write it off to the side, F equals three E. In other words, which is what we practiced last week, the output, write this down, please. The output, F, go ahead and write that down, please. This is, this is going to help you. The output, F, equals... The input this is the input e and what am I going and what am I doing to the input We're multiplying it times three times three you need to get in the habit of writing those sentences the output f equals the input times three and then I'll give you eight seconds to finish it. Eight, seven. Now, then it goes on to say, how many flans to ask, how many flans can she make with five X? And so we'll go ahead and do our input output table. Here the input is eggs, E, Right, so one egg, we're gonna multiply it times three, so one times three equals three. Pretty simple. And continue the pattern from input to output times three. Two times three, six. Three times three, nine. Four times three, 
12, and 5 times 3 equals 15. As long as you follow the rule, you're going to be okay. Pattern is three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. Okay, the fifth number is fifteen. So she can make fifteen plants. Go back to the question. It's asking you how many can she make with five eggs? Well, if I use my rule and put Five as the input, five times three equals 15. So she's gonna make, be able to make 15 flats. It's pretty simple. Again, just continue to follow the rules and you're gonna be okay. Sorry. We're gonna skip this, this what if, okay? Um, what if question. All right, um, we're not necessarily gonna be graphing today, but know that these can be turned into order pairs. This would, the first order pair would be one comma three, second, two comma six, and so on. Okay, all right, let's get ready for our next problem. Okay, so if you turn the page, you're gonna see this example problem. We're gonna work on this one. Next. Uh, let's begin. Now, always read the, read the little story they're giving you. Okay? It says, the rule, uh-oh, rule in the number of circles in a figure is C equals F plus 2. Okay, I'm going to circle that and write it here. C equals F plus 2. where C is the number of circles, that's why they use the C because it starts with the C, and F is the figure number. How many circles will be in figure eight? You, should, you automatically should start thinking, okay, I need to write my sentence of what this means. The output, come on, let's write it down. And the output is the one outside. The output, C equals the input. The input is the one inside. F plus 2. There it is. That's my step number one. I wrote my sentence. And now I'm going to apply the rule. Give you about five to seven seconds to write your sentence. And I'm gonna start making sense of what's going on here. Basically, this is saying that we need to add plus two to the number of figures, F, to get how many circles. So one plus oh, that's not a plus, that's a times, be careful. Plus two, that equals three. 2 plus 2, that equals 4. 3 plus 2, that equals 5. And you know, you know what to do next. Go ahead and fill it in. Finish it up. Be careful, it's very easy to, to see, oh, I'm just adding one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But don't do not do that. The rule is always from input to output. Okay? The rule is always from top to bottom, or from if you have if your input output table is like this, it's from left to right. Okay? Always, always remember that, please. Pretty simple here, so you just kind of fill in the pattern here. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The eight number in the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's ten. So there is ten. There are ten figures, ten circles, and figure eight. Estamos? I'm gonna let you practice on your own. Um, well, let me go ahead and clear this up. Go ahead and work on the share and show. Okay, remember to always write the sentence. Okay, the sentence, write the sentence. The output equals the input either plus or times, and you go on from there, okay? Work on these two problems. If you finish those, just continue working on this lesson until you get to um, the this one, 10.1, okay? And then after that, you're gonna have your DOL on online learning, okay? You guys are smart, you guys know this. Ustedes son bien inteligentes, okay? Síganlo, ustedes pueden, okay? You guys can do this. If you need any help, ask an adult here in the in the in the room, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Ándale, échale ganas.